Russia. Yeah, enough cameras. You get to get used to it. Sugoi Uriarte, he was uh, fifth at the Olympic Games and also fifth two weeks ago at the Jigara Kono Cup, now the Grand Slam of Tokyo. So the fifth place, and here Musa Mogushkov, the local hero. But he didn't score a World Championships title yet, European title not even. But he was third at the World Championships last year in Paris. It's going to be an interesting match. But this guy, Mosa Mogushkov, he's leading by 5-0 against Sugoi Uriarte. So this is definitely the nemesis of Uriarte. He doesn't like to fight him. 5-0 is very clear. Five minutes to change that score. This year they fought twice, and the last time was at the Masters in Almaty in uh, Kazakhstan, not so far away. Hajime. So this is actually the worst case scenario for uh, Uriarte, who had a bye against uh, Shavda Tuvashvili, who's uh, here in the stands watching his colleagues and now against Mogushkov. Heavy draw. Although it was not a real draw, it was a presentation of the draw. The organizers chose out the ideal opponents for Mogushkov. It is his challenge. Will, be, will he be in the final? It's most likely, given the statistics. But at the Olympic Games, certainly, it was uh, Sugi Oriarte who had the best performances. He fought six matches, lost two. Against Unvari and uh, against uh, the Korean guy, Cho. For bronze. So twice fifth in a short time, also at the Grand Slam. And between that he uh, won the European Club Championships with Abensberg as one of the fighters of the German team. Yeah, people applauding natuurlijk, of course, uh, for Mogushkov. Oh, no score. Also at home you can see it from all sides. Good development in judo. Last time that they fought each other was at the Masters in Almaty in January, so almost one year ago. And one year ago in Tokyo, the Grand Slam quarterfinals. But as mentioned, 5 0 for Mogushkov. So, final score, halfway the match. If you'd like to read more about the athletes, go to edu.net, download the presentation of the athletes, or follow our Twitter account at Judo Europe.
Mogushkov. In less than a month he will fight under 73 kilograms. New category he announced at the press conference. Not too much action in this match. So the initiative is in uh, Mogushkov's hands. Coach of Uriarte, also from Valencia. Take over. Hey. Definitely one of the best athletes now for Spain. Riyati is the highest seeded for Spain in the uh, IGF World Ranking. And Mogushkov is the former number one of the World Ranking, but he lost that position. To Gadanov, to his uh, opponent on the 66 kilogram from Russia. And now he's ninth at the world ranking. Hajime. We haven't finished yet. <laughs> Ultimate attempts by Rogerte, the number 15 of the world ranking. <laughs> Matej, the Dutch referee, Plugge. This is the difference maker. Eight seconds for the end. And the first time that uh, Uriate can beat Mogushkov. Well, it's a disappointment for him and for the public. But good for Uriate. He takes the victory and goes to the final. So it's Draxic versus Uriate in the final. And a good reason to fly from the heat of Spain, well, not so much now, and of course, to the 25 degrees outside, freezing cold in Tumen. At least 20,000 euro for Uriarte, who reaches the final. The winner will take 30,000. It is the last match of Musa Mogushkov in this category. Now he will start a new era under 73 kilograms. Of course, he's not very satisfied about this result and he runs to the warm-up area. Uriate will prepare for the final against uh, Rod Dracic. Okay, we uh, are reviewing some of the moments. There were not so many. This was a good attempt uh, by uh, Mogushkov. Almost a score, but uh, good offense by uh, Uriate. And I mentioned before in the beginning that uh, Draxic is an outsider. Well, he definitely is, but maybe now a, a favorite. Because uh, Draxic, he knows uh, Uriarto, of course. And the last time, and only one that they met before, was won by Rod Draxic. So, he may be the one to win this first 